This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. London gave one of its warmest welcomes to Field Marshal Viscount Alexander when he drove in state, accompanied by his wife, to receive the freedom of the city. In a special place of honour were Lord Alexander's two children, Rose and Brian, enjoying every minute of the excitement. Specially chosen as a guard of honour, the cadet battalion of the Honourable Artillery Company represented their seniors of London Territorials. Inside Guild Hall, the Lord Mayor was busy receiving distinguished guests, including Mr Anthony Eden. General Lockin Lick, recently home from India, was another early arrival, and so was Mr. Attlee. Finally, amid tremendous applause from the city fathers, came the guest of honor. With due ceremony, the field marshal takes the oath of allegiance. That I will know no gatherings nor conspiracies made against the king's peace, but I will warn the mayor thereof, or hinder it. To my power. The Book of Fame is signed and the new member officially welcomed. It is my proud privilege to offer you the right hand of fellowship and to greet you as a citizen and grocer. Presenting a token sword of honor, the Lord Mayor explains that the real sword is still in the hands of the craftsmen. More rounds of applause as the new freeman takes his place at the rostrum. In the fighting days, uh, it was easier. Our enemies were tangible, they were visible. Uh, but uh, today there are invisible foes still with us. And I call them fear, fatigue, selfishness, laziness and pessimism. Another great soldier had joined the distinguished ranks of Freeman of the City of London. Lord Allenbrook congratulates a brilliant war leader whose gallantry and modest bearing have won him a unique place in the heart of the nation. 